everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a really simple paleo pastry. It's something that a lot of my clients ask me about and it's really easy. So what I've got is I've got in here some tapioca flour and some almond flour as well. That's going to be the base. Put that for ease into a food processor. You can do it by hand, but it's just so much easier to do it in a food processor. And then you need to add your fat. Now you could add ghee or butter if you can eat that, or coconut oil, um, or pure olive oil spread if you want to use that. Then we're gonna blitz it so that it starts to form crumbs. Great, so that's all blended in. Now we're going to add an egg. And if you wanted to make a sweet one at this time, Add just a spoonful of xylitol, um, or if you want to add some extra flavourings, you could add some herbs or black pepper or salt for a savoury option. Then we just blend it until it forms a dough. Great, so that's ready. So what I like to do is, um, if you've got time, take it out, roll it into a ball, I like to flatten it, just then makes it much easier to roll out later. Just flatten it, shape it, and then, if you've got time, wrap it in a little bit of cling or greaseproof paper and chill it for around about 30 minutes. You can use it straight away, it's just slightly easier if you can just chill it. When you're ready to use it, Take it out of the cling, and I actually like to roll it in between fresh cling proof paper. I just find that it's much easier to roll out. Now I'm going to line a, a tart tin, so I'm going to roll it, and every so often turn your pastry and roll again. So just check with your tart tin that it's going to fit like that and then we're going to just gently press it into the tin. Use the cling to help press it in and do it gently because it can be a little bit more fragile than traditional pastry and then if you're going to do something like a quiche you'll want to bake it blind carefully remove the cling press it into the sides don't stretch the dough, otherwise you'll find that when you cook, it will shrink. And then if you want to even it off, get your rolling pin, press it over your tart, you can get rid of the excess pastry. 